Hey everyone, today we're going to have a look at a battery that was sent to me by Lee Time for test and review. This particular battery is a Group 24, I believe, 100 amp hour, 12 volt lithium ion phosphate battery. Uh, a lot of versatility to this particular model, so let's open it up and see what it comes with. But it comes with a nice little folder here. I already opened this so I could review some of the information on the battery. I think this is just a uh, pamphlet to tell you about their batteries and introduce you to some of the products that Lee Time has to offer. A service card, quick start guide, tells you how to hook it up quickly and some information about the battery and then it comes with a package of stickers. If you're a sticker person, got all kinds of stickers here to put all over your camping gear or RV or whatever you like. And right here on the top foam, you can see it says post bolts here. <laughs> so it's got a little bubble package here that comes with a couple of plastic caps and two sets of bolts, washer, lock washer and washers. Well packaged, nice chunk of high density foam and then the battery is in a bag. It's got a couple of foldable handles on it. And I think if I remember correctly this battery weighs about 21 pounds. Nice lightweight and compact lead time 12.8 volt 100 amp hour smart edition. So this particular battery has Bluetooth function with a built in Bluetooth module and you can access information about the battery and its performance on their uh, lead time app. So you can scan this with your phone and go right directly to the app. We'll get mine set up that way and we'll have a look at it. But you can see right up here on the top which is really handy. It's got the nominal voltage 12.8, rated capacity 100 amp hours, rated energy 1280 watt hours, charging voltage 14.4 plus or minus 0.2 volts, max continuous charge or discharge current 100 amps. So you can charge at 100 amps and discharge at 100 amps, and then the maximum continuous output power is 1280 watts. They've got a uh, QR code here on the back you can scan to view uh, installation or guide videos and let's get some quick measurements and we're showing about uh, eight and a quarter inches tall about six and three quarters inches in depth and then the width is ten and a quarter inches the handles fold up and fold back down so they're out of the way of any wiring or anything that you mount on top of the battery pretty handy and pretty compact I really like the size of this group 24 battery alright once I turned the charger on and it started putting power into the battery I was able to get it connected via Bluetooth this is the lead time app here's the battery and I've currently have it on the charger it's charging so it's currently at 43 percent state of charge We'll click on the battery and it shows you that it's charging estimated two and a half almost three hours till it's a full charge it's currently at 22.6 amps of current 301 watts of power sitting at 43 amp hours and 13.5 on the volts you've got three items here you can click on and it just tells you balance yes it's balanced got it that's all it does doesn't give you the individual sale readings or anything tells you that the battery function is normal and the BMS is normal as well now you can go in here and program it to have whatever name you want to name it you can give it a badge or a little picture icon for if you have multiple batteries and multiple different applications so you can easily find the one that you're looking for Oh, and it shows you the temperature of the battery. The battery is hot because it's hot in the garage. 93.2 Fahrenheit on the BMS temperature of the battery cell temp at the moment. And you can have the discharge on or off. Mine currently is on. So basically, you essentially, you can just shut the battery off there. Here's where you can, this little pencil icon, you can type in the name of the battery. We'll just leave it as I have it. Lee Time 100 amp power smart battery because it has the Bluetooth. Click on the Bluetooth and disconnect if you want to. 
Of course, real-time monitor monitoring will not be available if you do so. And then down here, you've got three different icons. The battery, you can add a new battery or customize your system there. And then here it gives you a register for warranty, comments and feedback, user guides or guidelines. Gives you information on the battery. Check for new updates. This is the current version at, at the time of the filming. Settings, you can get uh, English, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Taint change your font if you want to. Rate it in the App Store and just give information about lead time. This was formerly a company, uh, used to be called Amper Time. They've changed their name to Lead Time. And that's the app for the Lead Time 100 Amp Hour Smart Battery or any of their products, actually. I was looking through this manual, and here's a couple of uh, important points to note about this particular battery and BMS. Cycle life on this battery is 4,000 times or greater than 4,000 times. So that works out if you, if you fully cycle the battery once a day, it'll last almost 11 years at that rate. It has a peak discharge current for one second of 500 amps for startup of motors and that sort of thing. And then I also noticed on this uh, warranty card that it uh, comes with a five-year warranty. That's pretty good these days, I believe. So half the life of the battery, it's under warranty if you cycle it once a day. A test I want to do on this particular Lee Time battery, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, smart with Bluetooth Group 24, is, uh, I'm going to show you right here, hopefully you can see this. It says the 12 volt, 100 amp hour, Group 24 smart battery with Bluetooth that supports low temperature charging protection, LTCP. So I'm going to test that here today, where the BMS stops the battery charging when the battery temperature falls below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius, and then it resumes charging when the temperature rises above 5 degrees Celsius or 41 degrees Fahrenheit. It's nice that it's small enough. I was able to put it in my freezer and I got the uh, battery down to a pretty cold temperature below freezing. By the way, the uh, Bluetooth seems to be really, really nice on this. As soon as I open up the app, it only takes it a couple of seconds to connect. And I know I'm right on top of it, but I've done it from the other side of my house and it still does just as well. So here's the battery. It's at 51% right now. No power coming in, no power, no wattage or current. 13.3 is where it's currently at on voltage. It's balanced and the BMS is under the low temperature protection right now at this point in time. So if you just scroll down here a little bit, you can see the temperature of the battery is currently at 32 degrees. Supposedly when it hits 41 degrees Fahrenheit, the uh, low temperature protection mode will kick off and the battery will be capable of accepting a charge. And I guess maybe while we're waiting for this to warm up, this would be a good time to mention that uh, Lee Time has got a tremendous sale right now on all of their website. I think it's called the Prime Day Sale or something to that effect. Sorry, I can't quote exactly what it's called, but if you go to their website, you'll see it. And they have this battery currently at 51% off. So if you like what you see or you want to check out more information, I'll leave links to the battery Leave links to the lead time website below and any coupon codes that they may give me to help you out. Anyway, I want to let you know that. I'll put all the links in the description so you can go check it out if you're interested. All right, I'll come back when we get this close to the temperature for that to kick on and we'll see if it actually happens. And there it just happened. So now you're seeing 41 degrees Fahrenheit two red lights on the charger I just heard the fan kick on and we're getting 271 watts and 19.6 amps of current charging the battery and you can see the BMS is now green showing that it's normal so the low temperature cutoff on the lead time 12.8 volt smart group 24 battery is excellent so the next thing I want to do is test the battery's capacities. Those of you who have done work with lithium batteries, you'll be familiar with this device. What it'll do is measure the total amp hours that come out of the battery. And it's just kind of a heater basically. And this fan will blow the heat away from this uh, heat sink so that it doesn't burn up. So I've got it cranked up. 
high as I can get it, 11 amps and 142 watts. This is maxed out at about 150 watts. I've got another little shunt and a meter here. This one might be hard to read, but it says 11.3 amps. The discharge unit says 11 amps. And then let's look at the app. It's showing 10.8, so it's actually pretty close. Anyway, we'll see in about oh, 10 hours or so, and we'll see how this thing does on the uh, capacity test. Okay, here is the completion of the capacity test. You can see here that the BMS has completely shut down the battery. The voltage is currently at 10.7 volts. 102.54 amp hours. 1295.02 watt hours. And the test took 9 hours and 15 minutes. And it was generally about uh, 11, 11.5 of discharge amps for the test. So it passes. So, so far I really like this little Lee Time 100 amp hour Group 24 smart battery. I think it would be a great option for somebody who's looking for a battery for a portable solar system for camping or something like that. And if you can pick it up at their current sale price, I think the sale goes till July 20th, 2024. But you can check all those details on the uh, Lee Time website, which I'll link in the description below along with the product link. And if you click that video on the screen now for another one of my review videos, we'll see you over there.